Hello and welcome to 3 Minute Gaming, I'm Nathan. Today I'm going to take up this game's worth your time and bandwidth. Today's game is Soma. From the creator of the Amnesia Games comes this story-rich sci-fi brain melter. Are Soma's horrors worth delving into? Soma is available on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, and is currently available on Xbox Game Pass. Should you wish to purchase it, it is $30, and the game is about 6 to 8 hours long, depending on how good you are at puzzles. So what exactly is Soma? Well, it's a horror-walking simulator slash puzzle game with a heavy emphasis on its story, themes, and existential dreams. Red. You play as Simon, a man who contracted severe brain damage in a car accident and thus participates in an experimental brain scan to try and save his life. However, something goes wonky and after the scan, he wakes up in Pathos 2, an underwater research facility a hundred years in the future that has been overrun by a corrupt AI. Confused and beset upon by murderous robots, Simon has to work with a member of the outpost, Catherine, to try and figure out what exactly happened as well as what to do next to save himself and those remaining on Pathos 2. I am being intentionally vague because the story is rich in twists and turns, with what I thought would be the big and obvious twist revealed early on and the story building off of it from there. Needless to say, there's a large mystery to uncover here paired with the helping of Philip K. Dick's style AI existentialism. The gameplay is fairly basic, with the bulk of it being exploring the environment as Simon and solving puzzles. These puzzles range from more basic things like arranging objects on a screen and so on, to more complex ones that require interacting with the environment and learning the secrets of the station to provide right answers to specific questions. Exploration and puzzle solving will go hand in hand. On occasion, you'll encounter some rogue AI out to kill you, and as is the style of these games, you have no means of defense save running and hiding. The game gives you some warnings in the form of visual static when enemies are near, but that gameplay is basically just hiding and waiting for them to get out of the way so you can continue. It's worth knowing that this game does have a safe mode you can play where you cannot die should you find these enemy encounters obnoxious. It is also worth mentioning this game's visual design, which is strong throughout, paired with the fantastic voice acting and sound design, which makes every new part of Pathos you visit unique and very immersive. And that is honestly the gist of it. Soma is a story-focused, walkie puzzle game with a light stealth hiding mechanic and a whole lot of crazy plot things to uncover. So what did I like about Soma? Well, the story is fantastic, tapping into a more primal existential horror rather than jump scares or spooky ghosts, and asking some interesting questions about the nature of self, identity, and existence. Additionally, I found most of the puzzles to be fantastic, with them being just obscure enough to be challenging but not enough to be completely blindside you, except the puzzle you have to use to get inside Delta. And lastly, the game's atmosphere is palpable, with the game doing an excellent job of keeping every new zone interesting, even if it's entirely set in the samey underwater base. When it comes to the bad, evading enemies quickly becomes more tedious than scary or fun, and having to redo whole sections of the game waiting for the AI to decide to take a lovely jaunt past you is a bit dull. Additionally, the game isn't really super scary. It's more a lingering sense of dread, which those looking for an Outlast or Five Nights at Freddy's style of horror might find a bit slow or, heaven forbid, underwhelming. And lastly, this game has not aged particularly well when it comes to its graphics. Some parts definitely look more dated than others, and this is not held by that 30 FPS lock on consoles. I won't say it was immersion breaking, but I did notice it to the point of it being a little obnoxious. As you know, I rate games here on a three-point scale, must play, maybe consider, don't bother. I absolutely think you should play Soma. It is a phenomenal, story-rich experience, one that melds some of the best concepts of sci-fi with a horror setting and some really engaging environments and puzzles. While it might be light on horror and enemy dodging feels dated and a bit dull, that should not be enough to stop you from playing this absolutely incredible experience. If you have any affinity for well-told science fiction, you should play Soma. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you played through Soma before, you're going to play through it now. Like I said, if you love Philip K. Dick style sci-fi stories like Blade Runner or Total Recall, I really recommend checking this game out. Regardless, make sure you go out there and give it a look.